Welcome to Proven Doctor. In this video, we will speak about the atrioventricular blocks. Normally, the sinoatrial node is a natural pacemaker. Impulse originating from the sinoatrial node depolarizes the atria and is conducted to the atrioventricular node, also called AV node which makes some physiological delay. Then the impulse is conducted to the ventricles. There are following types of atrioventricular blocks. The first degree AV block is diagnosed when the PR interval is greater than 0.20 seconds. In this case, all impulses from the atria are conducted to the ventricles. So all P waves are conducted. If the PR interval is prolonged up to 0.3 seconds, and more, this state is called the marked first degree AV block. The second degree AV block is divided into three subtypes. The second degree AV block, Mobitz type 1, so called Wenkebach type, is characterized by the inability of the AV node to conduct every impulse of supraventricular origin. The main feature of this block is a shortening of the PR interval after the block comparing with the PR interval before the block. So the PR interval is the longest before the non-conducted P wave and it's the shortest after the non-conducted P wave. Sometimes there is a relationship between the P wave and the QRS complex. For example, 3 to 2, 4 to 3, 5 to 4, 6 to 5. Wenckebach periodicity may be typical or atypical. In the case of a typical one, there is a progressive prolongation of the PR before the non-conducted P wave. In the case of atypical Wenckebach periodicity, there is shortening or lengthening of the PR interval in the middle of the cycle. In the case of second degree AV block, Mobitz type 2, there are intermittent non-conducted P waves without progressive prolongation of the PR interval. The PR interval is constant. Sometimes P waves and cure S complexes from the periodicity, as in the case of second degree AV block Mobitz type 1. When only alternate P wave is conducted to the ventricles, this state is called the second degree AV block with conduction 2 to 1. If the P to cure S ratio is 3 to 1 or higher, in other words, the difference between P waves and cure S complexes is 2 or higher, this state is called high grade AV block. In the case of the third degree AV block, no P wave is conducted to the ventricles at all. Usually, in this case, the QRS complexes originate from the ventricles or a lower part of the AV node. In other cases, ventricular standstill occurs. On ECG, the P waves are not related to the QRS complexes. Intervals between the P waves are constant, and intervals between the QRS complexes are constant too. The third degree AV block is also called complete hard block. Sometimes in the case of third degree AV block, isorhythmic AV dissociation occurs. In this case, it seems that the P waves and the QRS complexes have a relationship, but long rhythm strip may help to make the right diagnosis. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe and hit the like button.